Hello there everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference uh, between uh, different sorts of types of, of flesh material. Um, what I will do is I will divide the flesh into, into two categories, uh, the pike flesh and then the flesh for everything else, because uh, pike flesh is kind of like a, a complete story on its own. Um, the most important thing to know about pike flesh is that you need the pike flesh to be completely straight. So you want a, f a type of flesh that is completely straight, otherwise it will get tangled into uh, a pike's teeth. When that's been said, there is a lot of other properties you, you need to, uh, to, to uh, think about when, when you're, when you're uh, changing uh, different types of flesh for different types of flies. This, first of all, is, is a completely fresh packet of something called soft flesh. Uh, pike flesh soft, I think it's called on the website. Um, what you want to do when you put this out of the package, every type of flesh that comes in uh, in uh, in this arrangement, you need to do uh, something with because then then it will be easier if you're tying large flies at least to to use all the flesh correctly. So what I'm doing is I'm just pulling on all this flesh so I get the uh, the strip or what you call this uh, plastic piece here that pulls it together. You have that all the way in the, the back. Then you have a very, very large uh, and very, very long uh, part of a uh, portion of flesh instead of having two short ones. So what's, that's what you're going to do. This soft flesh is, is uh, the cheapest flesh material I have and also one of, uh, one of the coolest for pack flesh. Uh, for packs. Um, other stuff that is very cool is, is all the products from uh, from Hedron. Hedron makes some absolutely astonishing uh, flesh. They have of course the uh, the classic fleshaboo and uh, in my shop I have it in the, in the narrow one which is uh, this that is great for, for flesh hackles uh, and stuff like that and also comes in some amazing colors. I've chosen to have the holographic ones in, in the shop because they are very very good for, for pike flies but also for, for numerous other flies. You could easily use this flesh for coast flies or for, for sea trout flies if you're cho choosing the, the narrow one. So this is, uh, this is the narrow holographic flesh from Hedron. One of my absolute, absolute all-time favorites. I cannot stress enough how great this material is. And you can see the colors are just truly vibrant and truly, truly amazing. Yeah, well, that's it um, in, the, in the narrow one. Um, then also there is a bit of a special product and that is called uh, uh, that is called lateral scales. Lateral scales is the widest flesh, some, one of the widest flesh I've seen to date. And uh, uh, it has kind of like these small crinkles on it. Uh, very good to just take three or five strands and just add to, to a pike fly. It gives an enormous amount of, of, of life and vibrance and, uh, and uh, something that moves different in the water from the rest. So uh, very nice, very nice material that I incorporate on on most every of my pack flies. The last flash type from Hedron is the uh, holographic flashaboo Magnum. And Magnum is a nice word when you're talking about uh, about pack flash because as you can see I've, I've done the same trick as I did in the start with this but with uh, this Magnum flash. This Magnum flash is wider and there is an enormous amount in, uh, in, in these packages. They are a bit more expensive than the others but that is due to the fact that there is just an enormous amount of flesh here. This is uh, 54 centimeters long so you can make some awesome, truly awesome big 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 pack flies with this comes in a lot of great colors and works works very well in the flies very lively and as you can see well just well truly mayhem those were the pike flesh of course you can use uh, these uh, types of flesh for saltwater flies musky flies perch flies all sander flies all sorts of other flies but uh, but mainly in denmark i use uh, these these types of flesh for pike moving over to uh, salmon and sea trout flies and coastal flies one of the one of the types of flesh that is uh, used a lot for salmon trout is uh, is this this is the pro angel hair uh, flesh and it's very very thin strands uh, very very uh, light and uh, and works very well with uh, with arctic fox and uh, and also with rapid songer strips and stuff like that so this is uh, many many uh, many salmon fishes uh, first choice I have uh, some of the best colors uh, of this uh, in the shop and, and uh, well it works very very great for, for uh, freshwater. Uh, also for, for coastal flies this can be, uh, be, be quite good. 
and as you can see there is a lot of flesh in a package when when uh, <laughs> one of my friends when he's tying someone trouts for someone flies for uh, for Skiano Danish salmon row uh, he's using three strands of this in his wing so if you're only using three strands I guarantee you this will <laughs> definitely uh, uh, last a lifetime the other flesh I'm using a lot for both uh, uh, both coastal flies saltwater flies and freshwater flies, salmon and sea trout flies, is, uh, is the glisten glow. This has a crinkled, uh, crinkled, um, a crinkled surface that reflects a lot of life and well basically just a few strands of this in, in a wing is, uh, is very very nice. It's also not as, as, as vibrant as, as many others so this is a bit, a bit dim which is an effect you definitely uh, are looking for in many sea trout, sea trout and salmon patterns because uh, on bright days um, in clear water you don't want too much, uh, too much noise uh, from, uh, from flashing your flies. Um, as I said, very very great for, for coastal flies and very very great for uh, sea trout flies in, uh, in general and salmon flies as well. I use this a lot on, on many of my flies and also on, on many of the other videos you, you, can, you can find on my YouTube channel. The last flash I will point out is this um, uh, this is uh, oh, what's it? Oh, I can't recall. It's called Mirror Flash, of course. Uh, it just slipped my mind. Mirror Flash uh, <laughs> has its name because it reflects. Uh, well, it's maybe the flash uh, of all those here that reflects the most light. It is really, really, really vibrant, and something I use for uh, for uh, night flies and also uh, uh, occasionally one or two strands of this in in my coastal flies. But it's very, very, very vibrant and reflects a lot of light so if you're using this uh, be careful of the amount you use and uh, and this works very well for murky waters well those were the words on flash I think um, thank you for tuning in and uh, and uh, well subscribe for uh, for for more videos from uh, from my lab well thank you <laughs>